Facebook has come in for heavy criticism after it was revealed the data of millions of users had been shared with outside parties. Initially, it was thought by media sources the breach took in 50 million users. Now it's been revealed by Facebook itself after an internal review. The figure is much higher, 87 million. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg told reporters on a conference call he'd no plans to step down and the company would change the way it handled users' data in the future. Now, we have to go through every part of our relationship with people and make sure that we're taking a broad enough view of our responsibility. It's not enough to, to just connect people. We have to make sure that those connections are positive and that they're bringing people closer together. It's not enough to just give people a voice. We have to make sure that people are not using that voice to hurt people or to spread disinformation. And it's not enough to give people tools to sign into apps. We have to ensure that all those developers protect people's information too. Our next focus Facebook didn't tell any of its users back in 2015 that information had been accessed by the firm Cambridge Analytica, which was contracted by the Trump presidential campaign to help election ad targeting. It now faces questions about the number of fake news stories posted during the election and the presence of Russian operatives on the service. The company also had links to another firm, which provided analysis for the Vote Leave campaign in the British EU referendum. Of the 87 million potentially affected users, more than 70 million are in the US. Mark Zuckerberg will face a US House committee next week to discuss the scandal, and several states are investigating what happened and if any laws were broken. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington.